Good morning. Good to the last drop. I finished my coffee early. <laughs> How are y'all doing this morning? You know, I'm excited about our coffee and scripture this morning. Um, like I said, I thank God for you all. And let me introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Auntie Sandy, and I would like to welcome you to my channel. And on my channel, I do coffee and scripture. I do tripping on Fridays, and I will be going back to mental health Mondays. Um, I'm so glad you're here. So glad you took time to join us. And I hope that you can watch the entire video. But if you can't, we just thank you for what you did watch. Today is March 1st. We are moving right along in 2021. About to march in the spring. Don't you just love the springtime? Okay, let's go into our coffee and scripture this morning. Our scripture this morning is coming from Proverbs 17 and 22. Proverbs 17 and 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Y'all, I love this scripture. This is a wonderful scripture this morning where it talks about a merry heart. And when you think about a merry heart, you think about happiness. You know, I thought... When I thought about doing this coffee and scripture this morning, I was praying and I was asking God, you know, what should we talk about this morning? And God want me to talk about happiness. It said, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. And the reason why I thought about talking about happiness, it was just the other day I was talking to a young man and we were talking about happiness. And we were sharing and discussing relationships. And um, I told him, I said, you know, there are some women who are very happy. They're single, they're raising their children, and they are happy. And then here comes along someone that they meet. And they seem to like this person. Things seem to be going good. But eventually, sometimes that person tried to take your happiness away. Anything that tries to make you happy, they try to take it away. And Auntie Sandy is talking from experience. Okay, I want to read something to you all that I wrote down where it talks about true happiness. True happiness is enjoying your own company, and living in peace and harmony with your body, mind, and soul. True happiness is a state of mind, constantly being in love with yourself. For being truly happy, you neither need other people nor materialistic things. Happiness is the consequence of personal effort. You have to make yourself happy. Okay? Now, this is this is some things that happiness does. It improves your health. Because the scriptures say, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth up the bones. A merry heart does good like a medicine. You know, y'all, I love to laugh. Sometimes I laugh so hard. And, um, you know, I've started watching TikTok. And I like TikTok. Some things on it I don't like. But there are a few things that I do like. And, y'all, sometimes I'm laughing so hard I can't breathe. And, you know, when you laugh, you feel good. It does something in your body to laugh. When was the last time you had a good laugh? When was the last time you done something for yourself that made you happy? 
You know, one day I was writing down things in my book and I said, things that make me happy. And I'm, I'm going to share that with y'all this morning. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to do it if I can find it. But if I can't find it, I can remember. Okay, here it is right here, y'all. I wrote this last year sometimes. And it says, things that make me happy. One, sipping on a good cup of coffee. I love taking my time sip, sipping a good cup of coffee. Sometimes I'll go get a cup of coffee and I'll just sit in the parking lot and just enjoy my coffee. Okay? Talking to my dogs. I love talking to my dogs. And this is something I wrote last year. Just was writing things down. Spending time with my son. But, you know, when they become teenagers, they don't like to spend time with you. But I thank God for him being in the house. And because um, someone told me, you know, sometimes when children get my age, get, get the age that he is, sometimes you don't even know where they're at or what they're doing. So I'm thankful that he is in the house. And I love spending time with him. Shopping. I love shopping. Y'all, the other day I did a video. I was going to Tupelo to go shopping. And y'all, I stayed in Tupelo from like 10 o'clock until 9 o'clock p.m. Just enjoying myself. I was by myself. And I enjoyed myself. Because that is something I like to do that makes me happy. Riding the country route. I love just riding just viewing the country route, that makes me happy. Watching YouTube, oh my goodness. I love watching you all. And I love learning new things. Coloring. Now, I don't do as much as coloring as I used to, but I will get back to it. When I color, it just gives you a calmness. Cooking. I love cooking. I will throw you a meal together in a minute, and it's good, too. I love traveling. I hope we can start traveling again, going on cruises. And I like spending time with my sister. Now, these are things that I had that I, these are things that I wrote down last year, probably before, even before my birthday, which was in October. These are things that make me happy. And what you have to do, you know, I'm going to try to use an example. I might say, I love shopping at Marshall's. And then someone may say, well, you need to shop at TJ Maxx. And I'm thinking, why can't you just let me shop at Marshall's if that's what I want to do? Why you have to tell me that Target is better for me than Marshall's? I know what's better for me. And that's something we all have to learn. I'm learning it. Everybody don't like the same thing. Like, you know, um, I had someone to tell me when I started wearing my hair gray, when I went natural gray, um, they said, I don't like your hair like that. I like it. Why can't you let me like me the way that I am? And let me let you like you. Stop trying to change people. And I have to, I'm talking to myself. If you have someone, because I remember I had a girlfriend. And um, she's gone now. She's passed. And um, she had a boyfriend. And I would tell her, well, why? Y'all need to do this, and y'all need to... She said, we do what we do, we do what we like. And that was the end of the conversation. She had to shut my mouth. Because I'm trying to tell her to do things that I would like. So, I'm, I'm ignoring what she's telling me she likes. Because I want her to like what I like. Y'all, we got to work on that. And not only we have to work on that with others, we got to work on that with ourselves. 
If you like sitting in the, in the car, drinking coffee, you do that. Do what makes you happy. If you love going to the thrift store, you do that. Do what makes you happy. If you got to be by yourself, do what makes you happy. Okay, y'all, this is a little longer because I hadn't seen y'all in a while. But I pray that you have happiness. And I pray you never let anyone take your happiness away. All right. Auntie Sandy loves you. And I'll see you again this week for our coffee and scripture. And I hope to give you a video on my shopping trip of some things that I purchased and just some things that I did. But y'all have a good day. And remember, keep your happiness. Don't let anyone take it away.